Pre-drilling preparation. A1. Inspection for road and bridge conditions. Conversation between a rig manager and a supervisor. When do you plan to move? We can move next Saturday if it clears up. Have you already prepared for moving? Everything has been put in order as required by the company. What I worry about most is the condition of the road and the bridge. Do you have any problem with it? We did the inspection three days ago and the report will be presented to you tomorrow. Who is in charge of the work? I am. Please tell me how far it is from the old well site to the new one? About 120 kilometers. How about the condition of the road? The road is 30 kilometers long and four meters wide, wide enough for heavy duty equipment to pass. Which equipment is the biggest? SCR house. Are there any obstacles such as high voltage lines, telephone lines and viaducts? There are high voltage lines in two places, telephone lines in one place and a viaduct. All of them are over 4.5 meters high. How many bridges are there along the road? Three concrete bridges altogether. What is the allowed maximum load? 40 tons. Which equipment is the heaviest? The draw works is about 30 tons. What is the tonnage of the truck you use to carry the draw works? 40 tons. A2. Well site arrangements. Conversation between a rig manager and a supervisor. Hello, Mr. Lee. Hello, Alan. Let's talk about the arrangements of the new well site. Sure, I wanted to talk about it with you. I want to remind you that the new well site is 1,000 square meters smaller than the old one. Then, how do you make a reasonable arrangement? I suggest that the storehouses should be placed on the right of the rig, just between the rig and the well site offices. Good idea. In this way, we can save 60 square meters. Where do you think is the best place for the drill pipe sledge? Shall we put them on the empty space beyond the drill site? Sure, but such arrangements should make it easy to load and offload. Any other requirements should, such as the arrangement for the third party? No, I was satisfied with your arrangement with the third party equipment last time, which I think is reasonable. Thank you for your praise. You will also be satisfied this time. I hope so. Good luck. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. A3. Equipment inspection. Conversation between a supervisor and an HSE engineer. Can you tell me the date of the last inspection? It was on March 14th, according to the daily record. How many days have passed since the last inspection? About 105 days. How many pieces of equipment need inspecting this time? 18 types and 108 pieces. How many pieces of equipment have been inspected by now? 66 pieces. Two of them are not up to the requirements. Which two? How should you replace them? We can use the 350 ton elevator and eight inch non-magnetic drill collar. We have spare parts for them. Don't worry about it. But please remember that the defective equipment should be marked with red paint, stored separately, and then recorded in files. Thank you for reminding me. A4, mobilization and rigging up. Conversation between a tool pusher and a rig manager. How many vehicles have been arranged this time? Altogether, 30. Two 40 ton load, 15 25 load, 13 15 ton trucks. How many cranes are available? What are their lifting capacities respectively? There are six cranes, including two 30 ton cranes, one 25 ton crane, and three 20 ton cranes. Which equipment should be loaded first? The derrick substructure. Our group is in charge of offloading and rigging up equipment on the new well site. Have you any requirements? Please ensure safety and have someone to direct the crane operation properly and watch the operation carefully. The driller is excellent in English. Can we let him be in charge of this? Okay, but please remember different slings should be purpose intended differently. We have prepared eight pairs of slings, including two pairs of one and three eighth inch, four pairs of seven eighth inch, one pair of five eighth inch, 
and one pair of 3 8 inch. Besides, you are supposed to make sure that the vehicles are transported properly, the cranes are operated steadily, and the equipment is put in the right place without failure and secured in the right manner. We'll do it according to the instruction and the requirements for a safe and effective operation. A5. Preparation of mud instruments. Conversation between a mud engineer and a mud man. Have you got the mud instruments ready? Yes, we have checked all the instruments. Do you need to replace or supplement any instruments? Yes, we need to replace one and supplement two. Which instrument needs to be replaced and what instruments need to be supplemented? We need to change the specific gravity balance as its graduated arm is deformed and more water loss filter paper and pH test paper are needed. Is there any new specific gravity balance in the warehouse? Yes, there is, but I don't know where it is exactly. Okay, I'll ask the material man for it. How many pieces of filter paper and test paper do you want, respectively? 120 pieces of filter paper and 160 pieces of pH test paper. Any other concerns? No, no more except the site office. It needs cleaning. Please clean it as soon as possible. We'll do it right now. Okay, see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. A6, preparation of fire equipment. Conversation between a safety inspector and a driller. Have you checked the fire equipment? The assistant driller is doing it now. This is an exploration well, so the supervisor requires we should have sufficient fire control equipment, which is in good condition and in the right places. Through checking, we find that a pressure gauge on the 45 kilogram fire extinguisher is broken and three portable eight kilogram fire extinguishers are out of date. Please have a complete check according to the maintenance manual and record the details. All right. Which warehouse are the new fire extinguishers in? The 45 kilogram fire extinguishers are in number two warehouse. We are short of 60 meters of fire hose. How are you going to solve the problem? We have prepared 100 meters of new fire hose. We can use the new hose. We are short of three fire spades and two fire pails are damaged. Please have them ready as soon as possible. No problem. Please give the list to the material man and ask him for the stuff. That's fine. I shall have them arranged as soon as possible. Okay. A7. Preparation of daily used materials. Conversation between a rig manager and a material man. Have you got the everyday materials ready? Yes, we have. We were about to report to you. Good. What accessories have you prepared for daily drilling? Now we have 200 singles of 2-inch joint and one Phi 110 gas bag. What spare pump parts do you have? six Phi 150 and Phi 160 liners, and 24 Phi 150 and Phi 160 pistons, respectively. What materials do you have for the engine generators? 18 pieces of air filter clothes, 16 engine oil filters, and 24 diesel oil filter cartridges. What everyday consumed electrical materials do you have? 160 meters of 30 millimeter square cable, four 10 ampere air switches, and three sets of 30 ampere explosion proof plugs. How many commonly used hand tools have you prepared? Four grease guns, two hacksaws, 30 steel brushes, six pairs of pliers, and a ring spanner. That is fine. A8, transportation and communication. Conversation between a driller and a tool pusher. How many vehicles are on duty during the interlocation move? Three. How do you coordinate the move between the two sites with three vehicles? Two for the old site and one for the new site. How will you get the crew to the new site? We shall use three trucks to get them there and keep one truck on duty. What kind of vehicles are used to send water and food? pickup. 
If the transportation truck breaks down on the road, which truck is supposed to help? The one which is nearest to the incident spot. How do you communicate between the two well sites? The two well sites are close to each other this time, so we can use walkie-talkies for communication. How will you share the walkie-talkies? Who keeps and uses them? We have two for each well site. The tool pusher and the driller use them. When will you fix the antenna of the wireless radio station? The sooner the better. A9. Electrical equipment. Conversation between an electrical engineer and an electrician. How many kinds of electrical voltages do you have on the well site? Three altogether. What are they? 110 volts, 220 volts, and 380 volts. What equipment are they used for, respectively? 110 volt is used for imported electrical equipment. How about the 220 volt? It is used for office equipment and China-made lighting equipment. How about the 380 volt? The 380 volt is used for the China-made circulation system. How is the 110 volt electricity generated? It is provided by the SCR. What advantages does it have? It can give electrical motors stepless speed change. What effect does stepless speed change have on production? It is more convenient and flexible to operate and meets various requirements in different working conditions. What are the safety requirements for the electric circuit? The cable specifications must meet API standards. What are the requirements for the lighting system and electrical motors? All the electrical equipment must be explosion proof. A10, auxiliary equipment. Conversation between a tool pusher and a driller. What kinds of auxiliary equipment are commonly used on the drill floor? Hydraulic tongs, hydraulic cat head, air winch and survey unit, etc. Can you tell me something about the hydraulic tongs? All right, what do you want to know? Can you tell me the sizes for the tongue mouths? Okay, there are five sizes, ranging from two and three eighth inches to six and one quarter inches. How do you control the makeup torque? We can control it according to the torque indicator. How many power sources do the hydraulic tongs need? Two sources. Can you give me an introduction about them? Sure. The gas power is from a gas cylinder and the hydraulic power is from a hydraulic tank. Where does the pressure of the hydraulic tank come from? It comes from the piston pump. How high is the pressure that it produces? The designed pressure is 8 ATM. What should we do if it is difficult to unscrew with the power tongue? We can do it with the hydraulic cat head. How does the hydraulic cat head work? The tension is produced through reciprocation of the piston in the hydraulic cylinder. What other uses does the hydraulic cat head have? We often use it while tripping in and out of a hole. What other advantages does the hydraulic cat head have besides heavy power? It is safe, reliable, and effective. Where does its power come from? It's supplied by the hydraulic tank. B. Drilling Procedure B1. Drilling Program Conversation between a tool pusher and a supervisor Do you know anything about the drilling program? Yes, I do. Can you give me a brief introduction about it? Of course. The planned total depth of this well is 2,450 meters, with the conductor pipe being set at 36 meters and the surface casing at 150 meters. The intermediate casing is not needed. Please tell me something about the casing sizes. Okay, the diameter of the conductor pipe and that of the surface casing and the production casing are 20 inches, 14 and 3 quarter inches, and 7 inches. You should prepare suitable rabbits and some other tools for running casing. We will drill a 24 inch hole for the conductor pipe and then drill the surface hole and production hole with seven and a half inches and nine and five eight inches bits. How about mug programs? 
We will drill this well with lime polymer mud system. The maximum density is 1.89 grams per centimeter cubed and the viscosity is about 60 seconds. There is a lost circulation with the offset well, so we should be more careful. You are right. It will be very hard to drill due to the high pressure in this well. So BOP drill and fire drill are very important. Furthermore, we have to prepare enough LCM and KEL material. How deep is the main pay zone? Approximately from 1,650 to 2,300 meters. So, you are supposed to perform the related drills and slow pump stroke test when you are reaching the depth of 1,500 meters? Yes. The pressure gradient is 1.2 MPA per 100 meter. We must be careful. Tell me about the drilling parameters. Sure. The parameters for drilling the conductor hole are 80 RPM, 110 SPM with double pumps, 2 to 6 ton WOB, and the ROP is less than 40 meters per hour. The parameters for drilling the surface hole are 120 RPM, 105 SPM with single pump, 4 to 8 ton WOB, right? Yes, you are right. Is it required to survey every 30 meters? Yes, the maximum deviation angle is not more than 2.5 degrees. There will be a wiper trip every 150 meters or 24 hours, right? Exactly. B2, drilling tool and bit, conversation between a driller and a supervisor. What type is the next bit? It is a cone bit. Why did you pull out of the hole so slowly? Because we had bit balling. Why do you require us to pull out of the hole so frequently? I want to check the bit and change the nozzles. The pump pressure is too low, you know. Where is the crossover for connecting the 8-inch drill collar and the 7-inch drill collar? In the doghouse. The floor man has cleaned it. Do you have any spare Kelly saver sub? We have had two machined. They will be available tomorrow. Have you got the stabbing valve and the inside BOP ready? Yes, we do. They are on the rig floor. <clears throat> how many types of drill collar do you have on the rig site? And how many spiral drill collars? There are four types of drill collars. Nine inches, eight inches, seven inches, six and a half inches. They are all spiral drill collars. When are you going to make up the eight inch DC? After the BOP is tested. When will you lay down the DC? The inspector is already here. We may lay down the drilling strings at 5 p.m. after pulling out of the hole. What type of tong do you use when you make up the drilled collar? B-type? B-type tong. The hydraulic tongs are broken. Is the torque indicator in good condition? Yes. What kind of drill pipes did you buy recently? The drill pipes with 18 degree shoulders. They are different from what we had before. Is the ID the same as that of the drill pipe with 90 degree shoulder? Yes, it is. Why are the new drill pipes so heavy? Because they are heavy wall drill pipes. How many HWDPs did I ask you to connect this morning? 15. Do we need to close the cock before we make up the connection? If so, don't forget to reopen it. Don't worry, we have people in charge of these. How should we make the connection if the mouse hole is longer than the drill pipe. Just put an elevator at the top of the mouse hole. Do the elevator and slips on the drill floor work well? Yes, they are lubricated as required. How many safety slips do you have on the drill floor? Two. Do the frequently used wellhead tools, such as elevator, slips, safety slips, need to be inspected? Yes, but the wellhead tools have not been inspected for several weeks. I noticed the mud splashed out while pulling out of the hole. Why didn't you use the mud box? Because it didn't work. The welder is repairing it. What is the mud box made of? It is made of steel sheets. It is easily broken. Has the drilling jar been sent here? It was sent here at 8 a.m. Is it new? What type? Yes, it is new. The type has been recorded on the tour sheets. Where is the shock sub fitted? It is fitted between the bit and the drill collar. 
What is the principal function of the shock sub? To buffer the percussion force applied to the bit while drilling. Is it necessary to check the size of the stabilizer while pulling out of the hole? Yes, it is. It needs to be changed if the size is worn smaller. How many stabilizers are needed for this kind of bottom hole assembly? Three are needed, as this is a directional well. How many bit breakers are there on the drill floor? Two. One is nine and seven eighth inches. The other is on the sledge. This bit breaker has been worn out. Why hasn't it been changed? We have spares. The floor men are on the way to get it. What tools do you need? I need two chain tongs and one fixing pipe tong. How many kinds of tools are there in the toolboxes? There are many kinds, such as a monkey wrench, a chain wrench, a pipe wrench, all kinds of open-ended spanners and a box spanner, and so on. Is the bench clamp on the drill floor? No, it isn't. It is in the tool house. Where is the screwdriver and hand vise that I put in the toolbox yesterday? The assistant driller just took it away. B3. Common drilling instruments and drilling parameters. Conversation between a supervisor and a derrick man. What other drilling instruments are used during drilling in addition to the weight indicator, pump pressure gauge, and the flow rate gauge? We also use a rotary gauge, a torque gauge, a mud recorder, etc. What drilling parameters do you use during drilling? Pump pressure, weight on bit, rotary speed, flow rate, torque, and so on. What about the mud parameters? For mud parameters, we have viscosity, water loss, mud weight, solid content, sand content, and so on. What parameters can be shown on the weight indicator? The weight on bit and the hook load. Is the rotational viscosimeter used to indicate the plastic viscosity of the mud? That's right. What problems can be identified based on the changes of the pump pressure? Bit balling, washout of drilling strings, loss of circulation, kick, and the like. Can the pump strokes be used to calculate the flow return? Yes, they can. What is the torque of the tong used for? It is used to ensure that the drilling strings are connected properly. How about the drilling fluid level sensor? It can be used to identify and warn you of the kick and lost circulation. Do you use the metric system with the mud weight balance? Yes, but we use the British system too. Is the mud density out equal to the mud density in under the normal conditions? Normally, the mud density out is greater than the mud density in under normal conditions. What does it indicate if the mud density out is less than the mud density in? It indicates that there is formation fluid in the borehole. Is the derrick man in charge of the deviation survey? Yes, he is. Do we need to use the single shot inclinometer if we have used MWD instrument? No, you don't. Are the instruments you use powered by an air source? Well, it depends. Some of them are powered by air and the others by electricity. How much pressure is applied to the tachometer? It is generally 6 to 7.5 ATM. Are the drilling instruments very important for the driller? Yes, they are. You know the drilling instruments are the eye of the drillers. Can you accurately control the track of the borehole by adjusting the drilling parameters? Yes, we usually can. How many formation parameters can be measured by using MWD? Formation pressure, pore pressure, porosity, and so on. Have you changed the air pressure gauge and the oil pressure gauge of the engine? Yes, we have changed two oil pressure gauges. Does the air pressure gauge work well? Yes, it does. Is the high temperature and high pressure filter press made in China? No, it isn't. It is made in America. B4, common properties and testing of the drilling fluid. Conversation between a derrick man and a supervisor. Who is in charge of mud? The mud engineer and I are in charge of mud. 
What are the functions of the drilling fluid? It can cool the bit and carry the cuttings. How does the derrick man mix the mud? He fills up the mud tank with water and adds chemicals according to the instruction of the mud engineer. Have you measured the properties of mud? Yes, I have measured the mud weight and viscosity. Have you filled up the trip tank with mud? Yes, it was filled up before pulling out of the hole. Please maintain the mud weight at 1.13 to 1.15 grams per centimeter cubed and the mud viscosity for 45 to 50 seconds. Please call me if there are any problems. Okay, now we will mix some bentonite into the pre-mixing tank. What are you doing? I am checking the deviation angle. How do you separate the air from the mud tank? Just mix four bottles of defoamer in the tank. Where do you check the mud? At the shale shaker. It is raining. Please put the mud material in order and cover it with the tarpaulin. Yes, sir. I will do it at once. How long will it take to clean the trip tank? Three hours. All right. Now fetch the mud weight balance to check over the mud in the mud weighting tank. B5. Drill string assembly. Conversation between an engineer and a floor man. One type of bottom hole assembly is used to maintain the angle. What is it called? It is called the rigid packed hole assembly. Does the pendulum drill assembly prevent well deviation? Yes, it can straighten the hole. The tapered drill assembly can be used to prevent well deviation. Can we prevent the well from deviating with proper use of the stabilizer? Yes, the stabilizer has the function of anti-deviation control and deviation building up. The longer the bottom hole assembly is, the better, isn't it? No. The reasonable length of the bottom hole assembly depends on the weight on bit. Normally, the maximum weight on bit is roughly equal to 70% of the total weight of the bottom hole assembly. Is drill string assembly for coring operation up to the standards without a packed hole stabilizer? Yes, normally the full hole stabilizer is not used during coring operation in order to avoid downhole complicated conditions. Normally, a stabilizer is not used as part of the drifting drilling assembly, right? No, it isn't, but a drilling jar has to be used. Where is a drilling jar fixed? It is fixed on the heavy wall drill pipe. What is the main function of a shock absorber? To reduce the excessive impact on a drilling bit so as to prolong the life of the bit. What kinds of drilling tools does a fishing assembly consist of? It normally consists of makeup sub, safety sub, drilling jar, drill collar, and accelerator. Where should we fix the slip socket while fishing? At the bottom of the drill string assembly. How do you use the heavy wall drill pipe properly? The 150 meter heavy drill pipe shall be used when the deviation angle is between zero degrees to 35 degrees. The 250 to 300 meter heavy drill pipe be used between 35 degrees to 80 degrees and the 300 to 400 meter heavy drill pipe be used at 80 degrees and above. What does a power drilling assembly consist of? It consists of drilling bit, power drilling tool, bent sub, non-magnetic drill collar, six drill collars and 12 heavy wall drill pipes. For S135 drill pipe, do you know what S135 means? S-135 means that the tensile strength is 135 PSI. Can we pull out of the hole without using the safety slip? No. How can the derrick men put the big size drill collar into the fingerboard while tripping to BHA? Derrick men can put the drill collar into the fingerboard by using the small hoist. Normally, where is the neutral point during drilling operation? It is on the drill collar or heavy drill pipe. How often is the BHA inspected? Once every three months for continuous operation. Why is a mud non-corrosive ring placed in the drill string assembly during drill operation? To measure the corrosion of the drill string caused by the drilling fluid. B6, B6, instructions of drilling operation and IADC report. Conversation between a company man and a contractor. Can we spud in today? I think so. We have finished doing the preparation. 
Have you read the instructions? Yes. I'm afraid the water on the well site is not enough. Well, the conductor pipes, mud material, and diesel oil haven't been delivered to the well site. If so, we can't spud in until tomorrow afternoon. How will you fill in the IADC report today? Well, we shall write 100% for the rigging up and 100% for the move. That's great. Today, we have also finished installing the mud pump, the mud tank, and finished washing the mouse hole and rat hole. 70 ton kilometer of the wire line has been used for the last well. Today, we have slipped the wire line. We used the 170 millimeter liner for the last well. Are we going to use the 160 millimeter instead this time? We have replaced the throttle and inspected the torque sensor. The torque used with the last well is a little bit higher than normal. The torque sensor is probably the problem. Do you know the name of this well? Well, let me see. It must be bamboo number seven in number four block. These are all the items we have for the report. Okay, let's clean up the warehouse. The rubbish in the well site should also be cleaned out. Is there any equipment to be maintained? All the equipment has been maintained. I think the floor ladder and sliding tray need to be welded and the bit sledge needs to be maintained. All right, let's do our part of the work. Of all the instructions on the well site, which is the most important? It should be safe operation, especially the personnel's safety. Yes, safety comes first, quality comes second, and the third one should be speed. B7, shifting and inspecting. Conversation between a floor man and a tool pusher or a rig manager. Please ask the driller to describe what you inspected when you changed shifts. Okay, we have inspected the crown block, draw works, the solid control system, and the circulating system. Let's ask the tool pushers to make an introduction about the last shift. We maintained the centrifuge, the desander pump, and changed two pieces of 180 meshes shale shaker screen, and the engine oil in draw works. Now there is not enough grease available on the well site. All right, how about the deadline anchor? It's okay, but the hydraulic oil for the weight indicator is probably not enough. Well, we'll ask the derrick man to add up the hydraulic oil as soon as he takes his turn on duty. We have also changed the air filter and oil filter for number one engine motor. Has the assistant driller inspected the blood pump? Yes. They have changed the spray pump and the gear oil. What about the condition of the well? The present well depth is 2,300 meters and the inclination is two degrees. The drilling footage will soon reach three meters per hour. Did the supervisor give us any new instructions? Yes, he asked us to keep an eye on the change of torque when the drilling pressure is high. What about the requirements for drilling parameters? He asked us to raise the rotary speed to 130 revolutions per minute. Do we need to perform the BOP test when we reach 3,000 meters? Of course, and we should also have a fire drill. Is the mud enough? Yes, it is, but the water loss is too much and the viscosity is a little bit lower. Does the supervisor have any special requirements? He asked us to keep in touch with the mud logging men. We will perform a short trip at 4 o'clock this afternoon. What is the matter with the hose? Is it shaking terribly? Maybe the mud pump does not work well. What about the bit? It is getting somewhat dull as the drill speed is decreasing. Is there anything wrong with the surveying winch and the inclinometer? No, but the developing solution and the inclinometer negatives aren't enough. Have you got ready the BOP check valves and the inside BOP tools? Yes, we have but there might be a small problem with the hydraulic valve. What about the pressure test of the last well? The hydraulic valve test failed, and there's also a problem with the choke valve. Has the eye washing station been connected with the water pipe? Yes. Have all the drilling strings been washed? Yes, but we need more dope and thread sealed film on the rig floor. Have you inspected the drilling line? Yes, we have finished slipping the drilling line. How about the air compressor? 
We have changed the belt of the air compressor and maintained the energy saving generator. B8, the daily reports. Conversation between two tool pushers. Are there any changes in drilling parameters? We are not allowed to change the drilling parameters unless we are told to do so by the supervisor. How much work have you finished for the move today? About 40%. What is supposed to be specifically supplied the next day after we started moving? Two truckloads of water, 18 cubic meters of diesel oil, and eight barrels of gear oil. How do you arrange the trucks for moving tomorrow? Two cranes for the new well site, two low beds for the old one. How about the conditions of the new well site? The ground is not very flat near the wellhead. We'll level it with road scratcher and roller. How do you judge the work conditions if the drilling rate is slow? If everything is okay on the ground, then I think the bit must be getting dull. Has the geological logging team notified you when to finish the drilling? We cannot complete drilling until the geologist gives the written instruction. Why is the pump pressure decreasing? It must be that the suction end of the mud pump does not work well. Now, we have got too much deviation angle. Do we need to change the drilling parameters? We must control the drilling rate below 20 meters per hour. Can we stop drilling to circulate the mud when drilling time is getting too short? No, you cannot. Just change the screen of the shale shaker to 40 meshes. As the formation is too hard, please increase the WOB to 16 tons. Do we need to decrease the rotary speed to 120 revolutions per minute? Yes, you can. Please raise the pump pressure to 18 MPA. Is that okay? All right, we can do that by increasing the pump stroke to 115 strokes per minute. When the casings and casing heads are delivered to the well site, please let me know, okay? No problem. I will also give you the delivery sheet. Would you please arrange some rooms for the dentist and logging crew in the elevated houses? I'm sorry, the houses have been occupied. They have to stay at the camp house. Is there any satellite television and intercom in the camp house? Yes, there's also a satellite telephone there. They can use it. After cementing, please fill up the seismic pit with the mud. All right, but I'm afraid we need more mud. Would you please give me the morning report before 4 a.m.? Okay, I'll give it to you along with the pressure testing recording card. How long do we have to wait until we install the wellhead after cementing? We don't have to wait for the cement. Just cut the casing right after cementing. Can we first lay down the drill string and then run the casing in the hole? No, we can't. We can lay down the drill string after cementing. Is the forklift operator professional? Yes, he is. No one is allowed to touch the forklift, except the forklift operator. Have you solved the problems put forward by the safety inspecting department? Yes, we have. We have put the fence around the well site. Has the mechanical engineer adjusted the throttle? Yes, he has repaired it and the pneumatic brake as well. Is the person operating the brake bar a driller? No, he isn't. It is the tool pusher who is adjusting the brake bar. Are the bench drill and the pipe cutters in the tool house? Yes, they are. And the portable welding machine and grinding machines are in it too. Do all the people from the Derrick men up have their HSE certificates and well control certificates? Yes, they do. Do you usually emphasize the safety at the shifting meeting? Yes, we do. Everyone knows that safety is first. Can you give me the shift sheet before 5 p.m.? Certainly. The list of crew members should be submitted before 5 p.m. every day. Are the engine man and the electrical engineer newcomers? Yes, they have just worked here for two months. Does this well have good oil and gas show? Yes, it does. The well has 13 meters of oil formation. Why did you stop drilling yesterday evening? We stopped to inspect and repair the energy saving generator. Why was the voltage not steady? Because we had electricity leakage in the mud engineer's house. C, well control. C1, basic knowledge and principles of well control. Conversation between an engineer and a supervisor. 
How many well-killing methods do you know? Two. They are the driller's method and the engineer's method. Has the driller's console been connected with the pipeline? Yes, but the well-killing indicator has not been ready yet. What can we do if overflow happens in the well? Well-killing must be done. This well may be a flowing well. How many tons of barites have been prepared? We have prepared 400 tons of barites. Has the mud waiting hopper been repaired? No, it hasn't. Our foreman will weld it this afternoon. What can we do if water flows out of the well? We must adjust the mud properties. Has the automatic igniter been tested and adjusted? No, it hasn't. Could you tell me the formation pressure coefficient? Okay, the formation pressure coefficient is 1.25. The fraction pressure coefficient is 1.89. How much do you know about the remote control house? The capacity of the accumulator may not be enough. Does the pressure test recorder work well? Yes, but the recording paper is used up. Are the mud exit flow meter and H2S detector ready? Yes, they are. They have been installed and tested. Do you have any spare liquid level alarms? Yes, we have bought a new one. How much is the mud pressure greater than formation pressure normally? Usually 150 PSI. What can we do if overflow occurs in an empty well? Snub in and perform well killing. What does overflow mean? Overflow means that formation fluid flows into the well bore. What would happen if improper treatment was done after overflow? Maybe kick would occur first, being followed by a blowout and then an eruption. As a result, the whole oil reservoir would be destroyed. What can we do if a blowout occurs and is followed by a fire? We must evacuate to the windward area. What can we do if a well flow happens during circulation? Observe the circulation, then shut in the well calculate the formation pressure, and finally perform well-killing operations. After the oil formation is reached, what should we do if we have to do some hot work? We should take safety measures according to the instructions. What is the purpose of the low SPM test? To obtain circulating pressure so as to perform the well-killing operations. The faster the speed of tripping out of the hole, the better. Is that right? No. We must keep a close eye on the swabbing pressure so as to avoid induced flow. Mud density should be as great as possible while performing well killing, is that right? No, otherwise pores of the oil formation will be clogged. Do you have enough breathing apparatus available for use? Yes, we have prepared 24 sets. How many spare check valves do you have? Four. Is pressure test of the annular preventer up to the standard? The annular preventer has been pressure tested at 2,450 PSI for 10 minutes. Can we choke and open the flow now? You can do it after the ignition system is ready. How many workers have obtained their well control certificates? All the crew members above Derrickman have got their certificates. Have you checked the hydro cylinder seal in the single ram preventer? We have changed two seals. What kinds of degasser do you often use? Poor boy degasser and vacuum degasser. Where is the best location to put the choke manifold? The best location is 25 meters away from the wellhead. That will be the safest. C2. Installation, test, and inspection of well control equipment. Conversation between an engineer and a floor man. Is everything ready for installing the VOP? Yes. We have prepared the sealing adhesive tape, special spanner, hammer, and cleaned the PIN to PIN screw with steel brushes. Have you inspected the check valves? Yes, we have inspected the valve bushings. Have you connected the electrical and gas line of the remote control house? Not yet, but we repaired the air pump and high pressure diverter valves this morning. Where is the steel O-ring of the BOP? It's been put together with the casing heads on the wood structure beside the drill floor. How long will it take to install the BOP stack? Two and a half hours. 
do you have the API certificates for your BOP and remote control house? We certainly do. Do you need a crossover flange to connect the casing head and the BOP? No, we don't. The BOP is connected with the casing head directly. Can we grease the steel O-ring if we use it? Absolutely not, but we must clean the steel O-ring and its groove. What kind of equipment will you use for a pressure test? A cementing truck or a mud pump? We will use a pneumatic pressure test console. How do you perform the pressure test? First, we connect the air source, 4.5 to 7.5 MPA, and the water supply line, and then test each valve on the choke manifold and killing manifold with high and low pressure respectively. And what is next? Then pressure test the BOP, the upper and the lower cock, inside BOP tools and the check valves, etc. What's the meaning of both high and low pressure test? The high pressure test means testing each component up to rated working pressure and holding for 10 minutes, while the low pressure test means testing each component up to 300 PSI and holding for 10 minutes. Why do you test with high and low pressure separately? Can't we test with high pressure only? Sometimes, for reasons of the equipment itself, it can pass the high pressure test, but cannot pass the low pressure test, and vice versa. Can we pressure test the casing head just after the installation of the BOP? Certainly not. Think about it. If the casing head cannot hold the pressure after the installation of the BOP, what shall we do? Can we pressure test for the casing head after it is welded? No, you can't do it unless you have cooled it for over two hours. What shall we do if the annular preventer failed the low pressure test? There may be some sand grains on the surface of the annular preventer or drill pipe. You should move it twice and then carry out the pressure test. Can we make up drill strings and run in after the BOP test? Function test of the remote control house should be first conducted before making up the drilling strings. What items are involved in the functional test of the BOP? To check whether the open close time of the BOP is normal, whether the pre-pumping pressure and post-pumping pressure meet the requirements, and whether the auto-pumping time is proper, etc. What are the procedures of the BOP pressure test? First, test the blind ram preventer, then the upper and lower rams, the annular preventer, and, the, and all the valves were high and low pressure tests respectively. Does every well need a BOP test? Yes, it does, because the well control is a key to safety for drilling. Does the supervisor have to be present during the pressure test? Yes, he does. The pressure test curve chart should be submitted as soon as the pressure test is finished. C3, the arrangement of the well control post conversation between a supervisor and a tool pusher. What is the key sector of the well control operation? To discover the overflow in time. Who should be the first to discover the well kick? The Derrick man. What should be done after a well kick is identified? Report it to the tool pusher immediately. What shall the driller do during a well control operation? The driller should immediately stop the rotary table and pumps Lift the square kelly until its sub is higher than the surface of the rotary table. Direct the tong operator to buckle the elevator and shut in the well at the driller's console. How about the assistant driller? On hearing the sound of the alarm, the assistant driller should stop the pump at once and rush to the remote control console. While the driller is performing the shut-in procedures, the assistant driller should observe whether or not the BOP is opened and closed properly and quickly contact with the driller. What is the Derrick man supposed to do at this moment? On hearing the sound of the alarm, the Derrick man should rush to the choke manifold and check if all the valves are at the right valve positions. After the driller shuts in the well, the Derrick man should immediately record the variations of the casing pressure and the standpipe pressure. What procedures shall the tong operators perform for such a purpose? After buckling the elevator under the direction of the driller, the tong operators should then take some actions, following the instructions of the driller. One of them should prepare the cock spanner, and the other should prepare the cock. 
How should the roustabout act on such an occasion? Upon hearing the sound of the alarm, the weevil should immediately stop the shale shaker and then rush to the choke manifold to help the derrick man operate the valves on the choke manifold and the kill line manifold. Then, how about the engine men? The engine men should quickly cut off the power on the drill floor, stop number one and number two diesel engines, and then start number three engine. The electrician should prepare the fire equipment and be ready for any accident. What ought to be done when a well kick occurs during the tripping? The driller gives out an alarm and runs in the hole as much drill string as possible if it is allowed. The derrick man gets down from the derrick in a quick and safe manner. The tong operators make up the BOP tools under the direction of the driller and shut in the well before they nipple up the kelly. What should be done if a well kick occurs when tripping with the drilling collar? The driller gives out an alarm and runs in the hole as much drill string as possible if it is allowed. The tong operators make up the drill pipes with back pressure valves under the direction of the driller. The derrick man gets down from the derrick safely and quickly and then shut in the well. What is to be done if the well is empty? The driller gives out an alarm and runs in the hole as much drilling string as possible if it is allowed. Should a kick occur, run in the hole with a joint of the drill pipe with back pressure valves and then shut it down. C4. Blowout drill. Conversation between a supervisor and a rig manager. How do you perform the blowout drill when the drilling operation is in progress? We do it following the procedures below. 1. Give an alarm. 2. Stop the rotary table and pull out of the hole with the Kelly and the Kelly sub to a certain point above the rotary table. 3. Stop pumping. 4. Divert the mud out from the metering tank. 5. Drain off the metering tank. 6. Monitor and record the rising of the fluid level in the metering tank for 5 to 10 minutes. How do you perform the blowout drill before the POOH? 1. Give an alarm. 2. Pull out of the hole with the Kelly and the Kelly sub to a certain point above the rotary table. 3. Stop pumping. 4. Divert the mud out from the mud tank. 5. Drain off the metering tank. 6. Continue pulling out of the hole with the drilling strings if there is no overflow. 7. If an overflow occurs, shut down the well. How do you do the blowout exercise during pulling out of the hole? 1. Give an alarm. 2. Pull out of the hole with the Kelly and the Kelly sub to a certain point above the rotary table. 3. Nipple up the cock. 4. Ensure the well bore is full of mud. 5. Stop pumping. 6. Drain off the metering tank. 7. Monitor and record the rising of the fluid level in the metering tank for 5 to 10 minutes. Could you please tell me how to do the blowout drill while the well is empty? 1. Give an alarm. 2. Ensure the well bore is full of mud and stop pumping. 3. Drain off the metering tank if necessary. 4. Drain off the metering tank. 5. 20 to 30 minutes later, monitor and record the rising of the fluid level in the metering tank for 5 to 10 minutes. How do you shut down the well while the drilling operation is in progress? You can do as follows. 1. Give an alarm. 2. Pull out of the hole with the Kelly and the Kelly sub to a certain point above the rotary table. 3. Stop pumping. 4. Open the hydraulic valve to allow the mud to flow to the degasser. 5. Close the annular BOP. 6. Close the ram BOP. 7. Close the choke valve slowly. Don't exceed the maximum allowed casing pressure. 8. Keep the pressure stable and record the mud fluid level. How do you shut in the well while pulling out of the hole? You can do as follows. 1. Give an alarm. 2. Pull out of the hole with the tool joint of the drilling string to a certain point above the rotary table. 3. Nipple up the Kelly. 4. Open the hydraulic valve to allow the mud to flow to the degasser. 5. Close the annular BOP. 6. Close the choke valve slowly. Don't exceed the mas maximum allowed casing pressure. 7. Open the cock. 8. Keep the pressure stable. How do you shut down the while the well is empty? 
1. Give an alarm. 2. Open the hydraulic valve to allow the mud fluid to flow to the degasser. 3. Close the blind ram BOP. 4. Close the choke valve slowly. Don't exceed the maximum allowed casing pressure. 5. Keep the pressure stable. Read and record the mud volume.